Have you been looking to get into cybersecurity? Well, then you have come to the right place. Welcome or welcome back. This is Alt Function and my name is Jen. Whether you are just exploring or have decided that cybersecurity is the career for you, I'm going to be breaking down my top five recommendations if you are looking to start your cybersecurity journey in 2024. Tip number one is to go start a LinkedIn profile. LinkedIn is a professional networking platform that will greatly assist you in your cybersecurity journey. The trick here though is going to be to take your time to build a solid network. This is not going to be a process that happens overnight. You want to be methodical about this process. Make sure that you're adding cybersecurity professionals, hiring managers, recruiters, and other people that can help you get to where you need to be. Follow other cybersecurity pages like news sources or researchers to get inspired. This is going to become your cybersecurity hub and you can start today for free. Don't be shy to get into conversations and share what you're up to. Now, tip number two, let's get to work. To get into cybersecurity, you're going to need to understand some fundamental basics. You're going to want to know system fundamentals, network fundamentals, and security fundamentals. You can get into a college program if that's the track for you, but in this video, I'm going to be focusing on the one to two year track, so I'm going to go with certifications. Gaining these certifications will demonstrate to an employer that you have learned these fundamental concepts. To get started, the top three certifications I'd recommend are the Security Plus 701, Network Plus, those are both put out by CompTIA, and a basic cloud certification like the AZ900 or AWS Practitioner. With the Security Plus, a student demonstrates basic understanding of cybersecurity terminology and concepts. Next up is Network Plus. Network Plus will teach students about network infrastructure and data flow. And lastly, my recommendation is a basic cloud certification like AZ900 or AWS Practitioner. One is put out by Amazon and the other is put out by Microsoft. Now, in the past, I would have recommended the A+, and you will probably see this recommendation along with SEC+, and Net+, still. Uh, but the A+, is more focused on physical hardware, and with a lot of companies moving to the cloud, I think a basic cloud infrastructure certification is more worthwhile. Now, number three, hands-on training. Certificates are a great way for you to become familiar with concepts and theory, but hands-on training will give you an additional boost to your education. Hands-on training can also demonstrate to an employer your drive and curiosity in the cybersecurity space. There are a handful of really great platforms to learn cybersecurity hands-on, like Try Hack Me and Let's Defend. These are two really great platforms. You can go step-by-step -step through different modules and learn different cybersecurity concepts. They've gamified the process and actually made it a lot of fun. Or for learning, join Capture the Flag events, or CTFs. CTFs are curated challenges that are put together for cybersecurity professionals and enthusiasts. Number five, it is time to make yourself an awesome resume. By now, you should have a pretty solid LinkedIn community, a couple certs under your belt, and hands-on learning. When adding your past job experience to your resume to get into the cybersecurity field, make sure that you're looking at your transferable skills. If you're not sure what these skills are, you can use ChatGPT. You can see here that there are plenty of skills that transfer from marketing directly into cybersecurity. And these can be notated on the resume. All right, so now you're ready to start your cybersecurity journey. Just a word of caution out there, not everybody is out for your best interest. And there are predatory boot camps, mentorships, coaches, whatever you want to call them. I promise you you're able to get a job if you just, you know, spend $5,000 on their course. A lot of the times they're not actually able to provide this to you, so make sure that you read the fine print. Breaking into a new field can be daunting, and there might be people out there that want to discourage you. But at the end of the day, these people do not determine your journey or your success. Keep up the good work and let me know in the comments when you did or when you do land your first cybersecurity job. I'll see you next time.